Hello English learners, this is Learn English with Brandon and in this video I'm going to talk about a common mistake found on the Cambridge First Certificate exam. It is the difference between the two phrases out of date and old fashioned, right? Out of date, out of date. This is what we use when something has expired and is no, long, uh, no longer usable, okay? Out of date. Let's say you have uh, a coupon to get a discount on a pair of jeans at a store nearby. Um, you look at the coupon and it has an expiration date, right? So let's say you get the date mixed up. You think it was uh, you think it was next month that it that it that it expires, but it was actually a few days ago that it had expired. So you go to the store and you go to pull out the coupon and the cashier, the, the, the salesperson or the clerk says, I'm sorry, but this coupon is out of date. Yes, it's out of date. It's no longer usable. Um, you might have milk in the refrigerator that has expired or is out of date. Um, it's out of date. We probably shouldn't eat the food if it's out of date or past its expiration date. So out of date is something that we use for for things that are no longer usable. We do not use this phrase to describe people. We cannot say that I am out of date. No. However, you can say that I am old fashioned, right? What does that mean now? Old fashioned. Does this mean that I like clothes from the 40s? Well, maybe, but not necessarily just that. Old fashioned means that not only are my clothes something you might see from the 40s and they're not, um, but it, it would mean that my behavior and my attitude, for instance, my father was a little old fashioned in that he valued being well versed in many subjects and many areas, and he he liked to do a lot of things for himself, whether it was fix his car, be a carpenter, all of these different things. And that's a little old-fashioned because today we specialize in something uh, very particular and we hire people to do all of these other things, right? Somebody who knows how to sew or work with leather is somebody who's probably more old-fashioned than somebody who works in a big office building right? Old-fashioned. So um, behaviors can be old-fashioned. Belief, beliefs can be old-fashioned. For instance, if somebody believed that the world was flat, well, that would be really old-fashioned because they discovered that it was around a long, 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 long time ago. Yes. And so that would be that would be very old fashioned, but old fashioned is something uh, we cannot use to describe food or describe things that can't be used, right? So we cannot say that the milk in the fridge is old fashioned. No, we do not want to say that. Old fashioned ap applies to behavior, applies to feelings, applies to thoughts. And out of date applies to objects and things that can no longer be used. Okay? I hope that helps clarify the difference between these two uh, phrases. So please don't make that mistake on the Cambridge First Certificate exam if you see these there. Okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.